Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Judge is in session. What is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> How do you know it was me? It's all everything Dwight does annoys me. Did you get your tickets? To what? The gun show? And I spend hours thinking of ways to get back at him. What's this? Looks like a red wire. Oh. I wasn't here before. What's a computer, do I? I mean, computers have wires. Yours doesn't. Doesn't it? No. It's going in a different direction than the other wires. Dwight, I'm really busy. I can't talk about this anymore. I got 500 feet of red wire at a flea market up by Dunmore High School. 20 bucks for the whole spool. Crazy. What a deal. Oh, he'll be fine. I made it up there. What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Hello, this is Dwight Schrute. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight. Hello? Hello? Yes, we do have that. Hold on one second. Jim, what are you doing? And how many would you like? Oh, uh, uh, hang that up right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, I can get that out to you immediately. This man is an imposter. Do not do business with him. This is not Dwight Schrute. Dwight left his cell phone on his desk. So, naturally, I paired it to my headset. Okay, fine. I'll just let it go to voicemail. Hello, this is Dwight. Hey, is this Dwight? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness, you sound sexy. Oh, thank you. I've been working out. Whoa, 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 Pam, you? Pam, you are not talking to Dwight right now. You are talking to Jim. Dwight? No! Pam, I'm over here. I'm confused. Disconnect that right now. You give me your earpiece. Can't do that. Unsanitary. Ah! Okay, you know what? Fine. I will reprogram my phone to go to my office phone. Done. Mr. Dwight. Oh, and I forwarded his desk phone to mine. Oh, hello, Mutter. Good news. I've married. Tell Fatter. Such a nice woman. Question, what kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False, black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact, bears eat beets. Oh. Bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not, what is going on? What are you doing? Last week I was in a drugstore and I saw these glasses, uh, $4. And it only cost me $7 to recreate the rest of the ensemble, and that's a grand total of $11.
You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Hey. Hey. Who are you faxing so early in the morning? Oh, um... Kinda hard to explain. I don't have a ton of contact with this Granton branch, but before I left, I took a box of Dwight's stationery. So, from time to time, I send Dwight faxes. From himself. From the future. Dwight, at 8 a.m. today, someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions will follow. Cordially, future Dwight. No! You'll thank me later. Hey. Hello. Jim? What's up, buddy? This is not funny. Why is my stuff in here? Wow, that's weird. Ooh, dollar for a stapler, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm not paying for my own stuff. Okay, I know you did this because you're friends with the vending machine guy. Who, oh, Steve? Yeah, Steve. What do I want? Is. What do I want? Ooh, pencil cup. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my pencil cup. Um, I don't think so. I just bought it. Uh, I think so. And you're going to hand it over to me. I love these. Okay, fine. My wallet. Oh, there it is. J1. Here, you know I don't have any. You got some nickels. What is this? How did those get out? I'm sorry. Professor Copperfield's Miracle Legumes? I was in Jamaica, and I got lost. And it was getting dark this one night, and then out of nowhere, this guy comes with a cart, and he's selling these. Dwight, he told me things about myself that there's no way he could have known. Mm, that's a common swindler's trick. Probably. Probably. So I buy some. I turn the corner. I feel like an idiot. So I go back to get my money. He was gone. So you want to sell me magic beans? <laughs> Correction, I do not want to sell you Professor Copperfield's Miracle Legumes. Nice try. No, correction. Terrible try. Jim, put those away. I'm really sorry. Pam must put those up. All right, just out of curiosity, what were the claims for those beans? They're legumes, Dwight. You're just going to make fun of me, so why would I... You know what? This ends now. Nice. Not bad, right? I can't really tell, but... Nice. I know, right? <laughs> what the... Oh, my God. That... That's impossible. It is, right? I mean, it's impossible. All right, I'll take them. They're probably worthless. Probably. Leave the telescope. I started with a thumbtack and traded my way to a telescope. But in a way, the most valuable thing here wasn't the telescope at all. No. It was this packet of beans. So I traded the telescope for it. And I can, I can just go buy another telescope. I'm just saying that you can't be sure that it wasn't you. That's ridiculous. Of course it wasn't me. Marijuana is a memory lost drug, so maybe you just don't remember. I would remember. Well, how could you if it just erased your memory? That's not how it works. Now, how do you know how it works? Knock it off, okay? I'm interviewing you. No, you said that I'd be conducting the interview when I walked in here. Now, exactly how much pot did you smoke? This came out really well. 
There you go. This is humongous. I am not a security threat. Oh. And my middle name is Kurt, not Fart. What did I write? Care for a piece of chocolate? Chocolate? Where did you acquire it? That is a delicacy in the Amazon, but it has not yet been imported to the United States. Who is the king of Austria? Joseph II. Who is the king of Prussia? Friedrich Wilhelm III. Who is the king of England? Why, the tyrant King George, of course. I don't care what Jim says. That is not the real Ben Franklin. I am 99% sure. Uh, we should be able to have that over to you by Monday. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. What the hell is this? Oh. This is not Mega Desk. No, it's not. They call it Quad Desk. That's ridiculous. This is made up of three desks. Oh, my God. We're going to have to rename it then, aren't we? Hello, Dwight Schrute. Seriously? You're going to sit in the back? Uh, yeah. That's the safest part of a car. In the event of a crash, driver always protects his side first. Back to you, sir. Well, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well, that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it, but... Trying to describe how to correctly butcher a goose, but she's having trouble coming up with it. Okay, Cindy, go, Cindy, Cindy. Pull its neck back, insert the knife beneath the jaw, bring it all the way around. There's gonna be a good amount of blood. But don't let that bother you. Have a bucket there for the blood and the, the innards and the feathers. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier. And it seems that the CIA is going to need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good. Uh... It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. <gasps> You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Who will be watching the children? No one. The door locks from the outside. Escape is impossible. Prove it. What? No. We're going to head outside. Give it a whirl. I just want to see how it works. Oh, no, no, no. I'll tell you this. If this works out, I think we're looking real good. I promise you, that door locks. Okay, so Dwight, in your own words, someone replaced all my pens and pencils with crayons. I suspect Jim Halpert. Everyone has called me Dwayne all day. I think Jim Halpert paid them to. <laughs> yes, five bucks each, and it was totally worth it. This morning, I found a bloody glove in my desk drawer, and Jim Halpert tried to convince me I committed murder. I think he may be the real murderer. Jim Halpert said there was an abandoned infant in the woman's room. When I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. Yeah. This morning, I knocked myself in the head with the phone. That actually took a while. I had to put uh, more and more nickels into his handset until I got used to the weight, and then I just took them all out. Every time I typed my name, it said diapers. Just a simple macro. You know, these actually don't sound that funny one after another. But he does deserve it, though. By the end of the day, my desk was about two feet closer to the copier. Yeah, I just moved it an inch every time I went to the bathroom. And that's how I spent my entire day that day. He's gone. He's gone. I miss him so much. Oh, I cry myself to sleep, Jim. False. I do not miss him. I miss Dwight. Congratulations, universe. You win.